Good evening, everybody. Uh, I'm Pierana Cavalchini. I'm the Tom and Lisa Blumenthal Curator of Contemporary Art here at the Gardner. And today you are in a concert that is called the Stir Concert. And there's a series of concerts that we share with our music department. And uh, we've been trying, I've, I've been trying to really bring uh, different people together to work here and to workshop here and to work on new work. Uh, we've had Susan Howe and David Grubbs, and now uh, well, it's very exciting. We're also a poet and musician, and now we have Barry Schwarbsky and Marianne Novotny. And I'm very excited that Barry is here. He's a wonderful poet, writer. He's also a curator. He's a person with many different hats. And he had talked to me uh, about um, Marianne and the desire to be able to work with her. So. Uh, Bringing them together to work on this piece has been a great opportunity because we're going to be able to record it, we'll be able to film it, and uh, you'll be able to hear a world premiere. <laughs> so let me um, invite Barry uh, to come and let's have a wonderful concert. <laughs> Well, thanks very much, Kirana. I mean, uh, it's just been wonderful to be here, and you and everyone at the Gardner has been so uh, warm and generous, and uh, and it's wonderful to have have this opportunity to uh, to work together with Mariana. Um, what I should explain is that the kind of format of the evening is uh, that I'm going to read some poetry, and then Mariana's going to. Uh, perform some solo uh, compositions, uh, singing and at the piano, and then uh, after that, the main part of the evening is going to be these uh, 11 uh, poems with music uh, that we've prepared together. Uh, our collaboration actually goes back to 2010, if I remember correctly, and uh, it eventuated in a CD that we released in 2012. Um, but we've never actually performed live together before. The uh, work has been solely done in the studio until now. And um, the pieces on the CD were done from poems that I'd already written and then Mariana composed the music to go with them, we this time we kind of did the opposite. She composed uh, basic uh, electronic tracks, and then I either, in some cases, wrote or in other cases chose poems to go with the tracks that existed. And then here uh, in Boston, we've been working together, and she's been sort of completing her musical side uh, after hearing my words that go with them and uh, using her improvisatory, improvisatory skills to, uh, to do that. So uh, as I said, I'm going to start off with uh, just a few poems, seven poems, and they're all translations. They're not, they're not my poems, they're my translations. And uh, the reason I decided to present these is that when I was here um, at the Gardner in May, and I looked forward to this period of having three weeks uh, at that time to, to work, and I thought I'm going to work on my poetry, but I knew that um, you can't always depend on being able to, I mean, you can depend on being able to work on your poetry, but you can't depend on actually accomplishing anything. Uh, so I said to myself, well, uh, just in case, I'm going to bring some, something to translate, too, so that if things are a little frustrating with the writing, uh, I know I can maybe get somewhere with the translation. Well, I did write some poems here, uh, but I also uh, worked on these translations of uh, the French poet Pierre Averdi, and uh, I'm gonna read five of them, which have just now appeared in uh, a British magazine called Snow, uh, out of Lewis in Sussex. And then uh, after those, uh, I'm gonna read two, two others. Uh, so Pierre Averdi, Secret. Vacant bell, dead birds. In the house where everything's knotted off, nine o'clock. Earth holds itself motionless. You would say that someone was sighing. The trees wear the ghost of a smile. Water trembles at the tip of each leaf. 
A cloud crosses the sky. Outside the door, a man is singing. The window opens without a sound. Word comes down. All the poppy flowers or women's lips reflected in the sky, it's rained. Kids drowning on sidewalks and the streets tied, the city a funnel. In profile, the day slips towards sunset. The cobblestone comes loose and the timorous beasties at the wind's racket skedaddle and their names are on the balconies the window panes tremble just a moment the house is feverish five o'clock except the night that gets mixed up with the twisting the trees at prayer earth immobilized oh sorry war is the name of this one war earth immobilized and the burning summer. Careful, your protective helmet. I'm suited up. And the coming winter, forget it. We doubt ourselves all the more. You can try not to think so. Handkerchiefs hanging from balconies as flags of celebration, their colors washed out. And the distraught figure, face of faces, death salt saunters down the road, waiting for each of us to bow. But what other weight than your bodies have you thrown on the scale? So cold in the trench, he sleeps with no more dreams. Pre-war pleasures. A thirsty head, and there's that moment when every leaf shivers. Lit cigars behind a plank wall where the legs vanish. Gloved fingers in the bouquet. Leaves. They've wrecked everything. There's still a date pinned to the wall. Some wandering musicians left there. Birds mimic the musicians. Soldiers mimic the birds. The biggest one bends over before leaving, before falling. The pointed wings are finally lifted up. Speed rubbed out each body along the path and the pacified river. Then the road down opened out. Cut into slices, the sunbeam hides away its pearls. And we went bit by bit as far as the last plane tree toward open sky to stretch out at last against the wind that won't pass. Closed frames. The light remains undecided, briefly hesitates before each door in turn, and its sorrow clarifies beneath the palm tree that's been brought in. It's the joy of children's cries, words that balance out in your heart when it's stripped of feelings long since grown burdensome. A voice went off stage singing into the blue wings of the evening, that time the day was running late and your sky so bright. Over these roads to your childhood where you ran with bare head and heart, what faces could you make out in your memory, the silence? Uh, this one is, is by another French poet, Paul Elvar. Uh, the French title is the simplest thing in the world. It's La Parole, and I found it absolutely impossible to translate. Uh, as such, and so I, I kind of came up with circumlocution uh, for it. I, in my version, it's power of speech. And, and this is actually uh, one that there's uh, a version of on the CD that uh, Mariana and I did a few years ago. I've got easy beauty and that's happy. I slip across the roof of winds. I slip across the roof of seas. I've gone all sentimental. I don't know who's driving. I don't rub silk over mirrors anymore. I'm sick, flowers, pebbles. I love the most Chinese of all nudes. I love the most naked swerve of birds. I am old, but here I am beautiful. And the shadow that falls from deep windows saves up each evening the black heart of my eyes. And then for the last of these, I'm gonna go back a century uh, and uh, change uh, languages. This is from the Italian of Giacomo Leopardi. It's the infinite. Ever dear to me this solitary hill, and dear this hedgerow too, abolishing as good as all of the farther horizon. But as I sit here gazing out, my thought contrives beyond it endless spaces, silences past human ken, and the bottomless calm near filling my heart with dread. And as I hear the wind go whispering among the foliage, I keep likening its voice to that infinite silence. 
and it reminds me of eternity and the dead seasons and the lively virginal present and the sound it makes. That's how my thought sinks down amidst immensity, and in this sea, the foundering is sweet. So, uh, Mariana. Testing, testing. Hello, my name is Mariana Nowatny. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, and uh, thank you so much uh, for having me. Um, and the song that I'll be performing is called uh, Gray City.
icicles it may hurt This battle can't drive me mad The poison in the dust I make believe, just in relief The shrapnel song to my sleeve I make believe, just to relieve The shrapnel Old my but I never die. Punitive starbursts last forever. The inattention of art pulls mistakes from the depths of the sky. of live birds tethered, blinded, or maimed. What a dump in a voice over my shoulder. Time ground down to sand measures out a line as far as its fate will go, truthless, tender. What wants to crash in the eyes of others where otherwise would be nothing? Spread the blood over my pulse in your previously unpublished translation. How shadows flash past divination, if only you knew how haggard I was. A corpse dressed in honey, a corpse backed by birds. the keeper of geometries address themselves to infinite understanding. 
spit mouthfuls of wasps and cracked canary bones. Yet uneaten by the whole of the page, they ache away from spoken dreams. They want to kiss your mouth dry. Indignant sparrows, bad luck. I still haven't seen you. A bitter tone leeches through the tree line. It holds you up to daylight under layers of survival gear. or start to see with the bright eyes of a cat. We're still trying to pick up your faint signal by the thin light of a broken star. Oh, 
The other you, whose imagery cause, these things we can't agree with, unfolds to the viewer the true name of encounter, burning holes in the ceiling. A brief woman caught me out of reach, with burnt leaves she put in her mouth, still open as usual. Along with my cards, I fold desire. Thank you. The shadow banking system considers you so obscene, making music just by talking. At the end of my mistakes, your ears want to take a breath. Immaculate drudgery, a horizontal touch, the blade of music wiped clean with words and all their opposites, the defenestration of color to where things happen all at once. This voice is identifiable even in other places. I'd like for these to be references to her body more than to her biography. Maybe another adjective suggests to continue drifting, a resistance to any fixed final arrangement. Does this name sound strange to you? If so, we can replace it by lurking radioactive materials, smells, or sound frequencies. Some cool shit working even when almost completely hidden.
regular days are over. No more tormenting me with intervals inside a poem in the style of each one you know. You hear the telephone keep ringing as you ward off its blows. It rains and it rains and it rains and it rains for a fixed term of our wretched animal existence. A fold-out atlas that's seen better days than I've been feeling for a while. And still recurs in my nightmares of this dingy coffee bar where time is a page on a calendar that no one ever tears off. Photography is not to blame for changing daylight into silver. Our angular days are over and the thirsty pastel nights begin. Still, your no was stripped so bare. Undiscovered by clouds, I stay loyal to the fog from which I watch you unwind me. When first you found me pinned up against a wrapping paper sky, that was the start. But 
in the time it takes to pick up a scab, she peered deep into your pupil and fell asleep.